Jason is a very energetic five-year-old boy. He has had a diagnosis of autism for almost three years now. He is nonverbal, however, he does babble to himself, which you can hear in this clip. One of the major problems that we are struggling with is Jason's constant compulsion to hit others or himself. And it goes hand in hand with his need to slam and bang objects around the house. We have tried many different techniques to get him to stop. Redirecting or disciplining does not work. It doesn't seem to be a listening issue. He is fixated on the stimulation he gets from it. Jay, Jason, put that down, please. Jason, please put that down. Here is our normal bedtime routine and a perfect example of Jason's hitting.
Zip it. Go ahead. Zip it up. When Jason is frustrated, his hitting and banging become much more deliberate. At night, we put his medicine in chocolate milk, and he has to drink all of it before he can get a bath. A little bit more. A little bit more. Ah. No, a little bit. You have to finish it before you get in the tub. Very good. Very good. No. No. J Jason, we don't need to bang. I know you're mad. Finish your juice, please. Finish your juice, please. Just a little bit more. Then you can get in the bathtub. A little bit more. Alright, that's good. And I need to uh, I can use my iPad for. Alright. At home, we have started to work on getting Jason to dress himself independently. So far, he is putting on his sneakers on his own. However, he does get frustrated easily with it and wants us to just do it for him. Can I have your foot, please? Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. You can, no, you can do it. You're a big boy. Can I have your juice? I have, okay, you want to sit? Go put your shoe on. It's this foot. Go ahead, you do it. Go ahead. Remember, you got push. Push. About eight months ago, Jason's school was able to get him an iPad with touch chat software on it, which we have been using intermittently as a means for Jason to communicate. He does well with it, especially with telling us what he wants to eat or drink or where he wants to go. Thank you. It's okay. Here, tell me what you want. No, you're not all done. Mommy, what you want? Where do you want to go? I am all done. I am all done. I am all done. I am all done.
Tell mommy what you want. Where do you want to go? Go ahead, Jay. Where do you want to go? Tell mommy. No, you're not all done. Tell mommy where you want to go. All done? Okay. Done? Done. Okay. Alright. Tell me what you want. Good job! Thank you. I'll get your juice. Jason likes to watch a video on his iPad about making pizza, so we tried to mimic that in real life for him. As you can see, after only a minute or two into the activity, he has reached his limit and wants to be done. In this situation, after we allow Jason to be done, he will normally remove himself from the situation entirely by going into his room and shutting his door to decompress. He also does this anytime we have guests over the house. Up in the morning after school Riding the bus so calm and cool The teacher smiles and says hello Kids that Elmo's getting to know. There's tons of books and games to play. There's paint and paper and toys and clay. And everybody's getting a turn. There's so much interesting stuff to learn. Elmo's off to school. Elmo's off to a real good start. <laughs> 